Do you remember a while back I had a laser that I didn't really like? It was it didn't cut the mustard, as it were. It didn't cut. Well, there's a new kid in town, and this one's way better. Way, way better by a country mile. It's from Xtool. No relation to Elon. The most important part to me is, does it cut? I want this to cut router templates for me. Router templates need to be between 9 and 12 mil thickness, which is quite a thickness to cut with a laser. This is a 40 watt laser. I'm told it's the equivalent of a CO2 laser. Really? A CO2 laser is four or five grand and upwards. I'll be using my usual scoring method, the dim sum. See my dim sum, my favourite. Five being good, one being... I quickly want to show you the unboxing for good reason. It's impressive to say the least. It's right up there with Apple's way of packaging. I mean, look at that, that shadow foam. That stuff is used in tool drawers. That's expensive stuff, man. It's impressive, which I find very reassuring. If yours rocks up and has been damaged in transit, I'd be very surprised. A quick view of the essential setting up and essential steps, and we're done. Well, I was surprised to see that. You go to all this trouble to make a perfect machine, but you scrimp out on crappy labels that leave the residue behind. I didn't see these screws needed for the laser module. I was looking at the instructions. Rest assured, I did put them in at the end. Well, I have to say, that was by far the simplest, quickest, fuss free setup I can remember. I did ask for, for an extra accessory, and that's the riser base, because I think that's essential, and I would suggest you do too, because height is very limited without it. Without it, you have a working height of 42 mil. With the riser base, you have a working height of 125 mil. Not only that, but I spent a lot of time working at how to upgrade the firmware and download said firmware before the machine even arrived. I don't have internet at the workshop. Well, I was shocked to see when I plugged in the computer, I didn't need to update anything. It's already been done before it got to me. Hoorah. Probably wondering what's going on here. I don't know if you've ever used Perspex before, but even if you get a bit of wood dust on it and wipe it, it will scratch the hell out of this. And I don't want to look at this factory job because it's a mess so I'm going to cover it like you do with cars so I've tried to make, I've made this as waterproof as possible so the water will run off the sides and down and not touch the machine I've masked up past the edge of this hinge so the water will go over it and down the back so we're perfectly safe and we're not going to do any damage to the machine question is what should I use tint or or fly eye fly eye you plick Yeah, it's going to make it a little bit darker. That's all I've got. I've already got this started because this is a right pain to start. You cannot have enough of this. Very liquid, washing some and water. As you can see, as dry as a nun's crutch. Now, I don't know if this void's warranty, 
but they'll never know because you can just take it off. I personally just like to look after things like this. Just need some 19 inch alloy wheels, sports exhaust, and we're done. Why is this better, you might ask? As of filming this, this is considered to be one of the top diode lasers on the market. Remember that gantry blazer I had and all the work I had to put into it? I had to make the enclosure. It needed a spoil board with a grid burnt into it. Needed an extractor fan. Needed a laser cutting board with a thousand screws, near a thousand screws. Oh boy, was that time consuming to make. Needed an air assist set up. That also needed a compressor to run that. Oh, and the lights in the cabinet too. Now all that adds up the cost. You add material to that and the time it took you to build it. The cost is pretty comparable to what you're buying here. And best of all, I don't have to wear those stupid glasses. This bad boy comes with all of that, including air assist. Not just any air assist though, an intelligent air assist, which you definitely need for cutting because having air blowing and cooling makes it for a better cut. This actually has a built-in instructor fan and comes with a hose, which is epic. And there's a little safety feature, which is pretty epic. See these guys, the little bubbles, they're act actively looking for fire. If they detect said fire, the machine shuts down. On other machines, it's only the laser module itself that has to be over the flame. Then they'll cut the machine off. You can actually buy an add-on for this as well for the fire, which basically is like an extinguisher kit that detects the fire and it also puts it out for you. That's extra. I won't bore you with the specs particularly. I mean, this is a 600 millimeters a second speed machine. That's kind of, I'll put the specs up here. For the nerds it's all pretty exciting to be honest and this had it all for me before even getting it out of the box the one downside i found and this is not just for this laser it's for all of these lasers is this <laughs> stupid on and off but well this button here it's not an on and off button the on and off button's behind here but now it changes color warning you what's happening or what's going wrong so it might blink blue and then orange or blue then yellow whatever it is but if you're colorblind that's not good is it i'm not colorblind but if it flickers too fast it's very difficult to tell whether it's flickering yellow or orange for instance that's the only negative i can find so far let's talk about some of the features of this machine because it is pretty pucker this ha also has autofocus which means you, well, obviously you don't need to do this manually <laughs> You need to focus the laser to the right height away from the workpiece so the laser cuts correctly. Let's put it differently. Think of it like a torch. If you're shining a torch in the dark, the further that object away from you, that, that beam is slowly going to go to black, isn't it? The closer you are and the right distance you are, you're going to get a clear vision. Other lasers, you have to do it manually by lifting a little lever and lifting up and down the laser and sticking a, a shim underneath it to get it to the correct height and locking it off this does it electronically for you so it's a great time saver you may remember i had to make a spore board with a grid burnt into it to be able to position the workpiece into the correct area this has a pinpoint positioning system which i love It also has something called dynamic focusing engraving. The, the dynamic focusing engraving, think of it like this. If you've got a um, an object that's convex or concave, shaped like this, the laser itself will work out the contours and focus correctly with the laser beam. That's damn cool, I think. Turns out this wasn't gonna be a very good example of the curved feature, so I've cut this.
to add to all of that, this laser is module, meaning you can buy different wattage lasers for this. Uh, I believe there's a 10 watt, it's not very obvious from their website, but there's a 20 watt laser and a 2 watt infrared laser. The infrared laser is more for cutting metals, well not cutting metals, sorry, engraving metals. The 40 watt that I have here is comparable to a CO2 laser apparently, and those CO2 lasers are expensive. Like I said earlier, the speed of this is 600 millimeters a second. The CO2 version Xtor make is also that same speed. It's funny how things come about. Friends of mine before said to me, you need to get rid of that crappy gantry laser and get an Xtor. They're the best on the market. That was about a year ago, and then Xtor have reached out to me. As I said, I really want this to cut jigs for me. Cutting jigs for brow to work is time consuming, getting them dialed in, and you can go through a lot of plywood, you know, getting it properly the right size. What could be better than sticking a drawing onto a computer, click send, and it cuts it out on this for you, and on you go, get on with your day. I wonder if you could do dovetails. You're probably thinking, why don't you get a CNC instead then? If there's, there's one sound in a workshop I really can't bear, and that is a router. It's right up there with an impact driver. I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to listen to a CNC router going on for an hour or whatever while I'm cutting dovetails on a box, for instance. These lasers are pretty bloody quiet. I would hope too that a, a laser is going to be pretty bloody accurate. I've worked a tolerance of 0.25. Mill. And I hadn't considered this till I'm just saying it out loud now. I wonder what the kerf is on a laser beam. By that mean meaning the laser is going to cut on the line, right? Now if you're cutting a dovetail, for instance, you're going to be cutting to the side of the line, just a hair off of it. So that's something to th think about. Given this is a 40 watt laser, that means that laser beam is thicker than a 10 watt or the 2 watt infrared. Anyway, according to XTOR, they have 12 world first innovations. I won't bore you with them all. Available accessories for this machine, by what I've mentioned, is the fire safety set, which I have mentioned, which is the extinguisher. I'm on the fence about that one. I mean, you shouldn't walk away and leave these lasers running. I mean, you don't go and leave the building with this running. So you should be in the same room doing whatever work you're doing, keeping an eye on it. So if you do, so you should spot a fire and not need a fire extinguisher kit. And I wonder if it's a bit like the saw stop mechanism once you've once that uh, extinguisher kit goes off, what's the state of the laser going to be like? Because it's electric, so I'm assuming it's going to be dust type fire extinguisher. I don't know, but anyway, I'm not sure I'd be bothering with that. And that's 150 quid for the extinguisher. There's the desktop smoke purifier, which is a whopping 750 quid. I'll be venting this straight out the door anyway, so it won't need that. There's a rotisserie, so you can spit roast your uh, projects. The rotisserie, you can do things like glasses, round objects engraving on them. There's also an automatic feed. It goes in the front here. It's really for doing signs, I would suggest. So your workpiece is then becomes three meters long by, by roughly 470 mil wide, and it will move the piece of wood in and out while it does the engraving or cutting. So for something like a sign, that would be wicked. What you see here at the time of filming, that this is the basic kit, except for the riser base. You get 40 watt laser, the honeycomb board, and the air assist. To run this, you don't need to buy a light burn. This actually comes with its own software, which I really like the sound of because when a company supplies you with the hardware and they also make the software, you can be pretty sure that they're going to work well together. Light burn is also 60 quid if you are interested. You can use it. The trouble is with light one, it doesn't have all of the features to run this machine as well as the proprietary software to run this, the Xtool make. The Xtool software runs on a Mac and Windows, which is great. Unlike some other lasers, I won't mention names. Before we go any further, don't forget to head over to my Patreon page to support this channel. Think of it like buying me a beer once a month. It's pressure free, no obligation. Cancel any time. Add free vids, early access to vids, the director's cut, and a WhatsApp group for the top tier peeps. I'd like to give a warm welcome to my new patrons too. Bobby Ball and Gary Butler. Cheers chaps. So now that's done, let's see if this bad boy can cut. <laughs> 